In this edition of what's new in Mixbus 32C 9.2, we're gonna look at BBT markers and tempo mapping. Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Harrison Audio, and in front of me is a session that is a great blues jam, and they stay pretty well in time and in the pocket, but I'm gonna adjust the grid to match their performance, and so that way I can later do some basic editing and maybe add some MIDI and some other stuff. So as you can see up top, I have a bars and beats and a tempo ruler. And if we right click in the tempo ruler, I could add a tempo and also clear any tempos that I've made in the past. And also notice that the performance does not line up currently to any of the grid. So we do have the tempo at 120 beats per minute. And this is pretty close to that bar. But what I'm gonna do is actually right click up here and add a BBT marker. And that's gonna allow me to define what bar and B I want this location to be. So we'll call this blues jam and it's gonna be bar one, beat one. So let's listen to what we have so far. Okay, great. So I can hear that these are all pickup notes. I'm gonna put the BB tier marker right on the first kick right here. Now that we have that set, I wanna show you about the new grid mode that's added in 9.2. So over here in the toolbar, we still have our regular grab mode, but now we have grid mode, and we can access that by pressing the Y key on our keyboard. So this allows us to go anywhere on the grid, and we can grab this bar line and start moving it around. So on the bar, we have this kind of symbol, and on the beat, we have a double arrow symbol. So that way, once we've added a tempo marker, on a bar line, we can go into a beat and we can move that around. So maybe we can ramp up or slow down into the next tempo marker. So now we actually wanna go and find where the next downbeat is of this jam. Okay, so here's our next kick drum right here on the bar. So we can take this and slide it right over. And you can just kind of get it as close as you want. And now we just continue to listen and keep adjusting. So this one's a little behind. And as you start moving the grid, you can see things start lining up. Okay, same thing right here. So slide this over, maybe slide that back. Now any spot that you see is not right on where you want it, just make a guard marker and then adjust to the right of that. So if I didn't make this one on bar eight, then everything else would have moved, and I don't want that. And we can see that the grid starts to get off a little bit. So we can grab bar 10, slide it over. Maybe take bar 12, slide it back. Okay, so right here, we might wanna to go to bar 18, put a garden marker there, adjust bar 19, slightly ahead, and maybe bar 20, and then pull back bar 22, something like that. I started seeing that one get off just a touch. So bar 24 and 25 are on, but the middle beats are a little off. So I can just take that, maybe slide it forward a little bit. Same thing right here, starts getting a little ahead. And 
then same thing for bar 32. For the guard marker on 33, pull back 34. And then pull up bar 35. So that is the basic premise of tempo mapping in 9.2. Be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the new features. And until next time, I'm Nathan from Harrison Audio, and I'll see you in the next video.